Manna, the leader in the irrigation intelligence space, provides growers around the world with the actionable information they need to make better informed and more confident irrigation decisions. Our sensor-free, software-only approach enables a highly affordable and accessible solution for site-specific irrigation recommendations. We wanted to develop a solution that required no installation of any hardware in the field and covered the entire field instead of a single location of sensors. So we think remote sensing is the best way to do it and we developed our models based on 15 years of experience of remote sensing and precision farming with the Israeli farmers. We use the proven evapotranspiration paradigm. The daily reference ET is provided by a global hyperlocal weather service, and the crop coefficient is calculated by our model based on vegetation indices as identified by satellite images. This, together with hundreds of crop models we have in our system, provide irrigation recommendation for every zone in the field. The recommendations also reflect actual rainfall on the field, the efficiency of the irrigation system, and the soil parameter based on texture, salinity, and organic matter. As part of our validation process, we participated in an experiment, irrigation experiment, managed and carried out by the Valley Farming Center. The Valley Farming Center is a leading Israeli growers association that carries out agricultural research and development in the region. The region is known as one of the best in the world for the high quality of the cotton it produces. The experiment was conducted in a commercial Pima cotton field in the northwest of the Jizreel Valley, Israel. The 32 hectares field was divided into six zones in which two irrigation methods were examined. The MANA model compared with traditional growers' practices that include water tables and regular plant development monitoring, three repetitions for every treatment. The entire field was irrigated by a 2 mm thick walled surface drip line with a dripper spacing of 40 centimeters and a dripper flow rate of 1.0 liters per hour. We installed a valve and a flow meter for every repetition to control and measure the amount of water applied to every zone. We also conducted six visits to the field during the season and closely monitored crop development in both treatment. This included plant height, growth rate, NPK levels, and maturation measurements. About two weeks before the commercial harvest, a selective harvest of one meter strips was performed in representative areas of each repetition, in which we counted the open and closed bowls and weighed the length. Then during the mechanical harvest, each repetition was harvested separately and the round cotton bales were marked accordingly. The bales were sent to the gin for weighing and quality inspections. Yoram Steinberg, the center's senior field crops instructor headed the professional aspect of the experiment. We realized that the manna method, as opposed to the growers' practices, recommended more water during the first stages of the season. This was reflected in vigorous growth in manna irrigated areas, high plants with a heavy potential yield. Later in the season, the manna recommendation was less than the growers' practices. So in terms of total water consumption, the two methods used exactly the same amount of water. The high plants challenged the mechanical harvesting equipment, so the full yield potential was not realized. My conclusion is that the manna irrigation method based on remote sensing certainly proved itself. The water amounts were exactly the same, and the yield showed advantage to manna with no difference in lint quality. I would not change the irrigation method and recommend to consider limiting the height of the plants through growth regulating treatments. We are very happy with these results. Irrigation based on our model provided 12% better water use efficiency comparing to the grower uh, irrigation or the region average. What seemed to be science fiction just a few years ago is now a reality. It is possible to provide intelligent irrigation recommendations without the need to install and maintain any hardware in the field. Our solution is already in use by growers in three continents and support more than 40 crops. We plan to expand our service and while continue developing and validating our software in the field. For more information, please visit us at www.mana-irrigation.com.